Hi, John here. Today it's uh, Tuesday, the 11th of uh, October 2016, and I'm um, catching up with Kingi Tōrua and the 28th of October Declaration of Independence Day in Waitangi. <clears throat> and just wrote to him an extensive letter uh, on his interpretation of what I'm saying in a presentation inside the Waitangi Marae on the 28th to celebrate the Declaration of Independence between Britain, UK, Westminster, the British military, and Navy and the Hapu chiefs of the Whakamininga tribes in the first place at Kororareka, uh, Russell, Bay of Islands, and King William the Fourth, Admiralty flagship uh, beginnings of the British settlement there <coughs> in the private contract which I'm basing this flag on to trade in business between the British government Westminster and King William the Fourth and the Hapu chiefs <coughs> that congregated the Napui eight tribes I have all the history for that and back to the uh, from that land block at Tingari back to Titi Marae on the Waitangi land blocks. So they bought the Titi land blocks title in the Bay of Islands, Russell, back onto the Waitangi land blocks on the two different hapu from the Ngāti Rahiri into the Ngāti Kawa. They brought this flag in its first point of contact with the British on that land at Ngāti Rahiri, Rehia, uh, with Kingi and his chiefs, and he's come across to the Ngāti Kawa side on the Waitangi blocks with that contract, commercial contract title intact with the eight tribes of Ngāpui. Okay, so we get that quite clear in this video, that that's how it's going down uh, for the sake of all the natives of that time period, 1830 to 1837, and this flag 1835, back to 1834, on the 10th of April, 1834 at Russell. That's where I'm making the start point of the first British settlers here as native, uh, as Navy uh, settlement, first landing. So as soon as they proclaimed their arrival in the Bay of Islands, then that formed the contract with the Hapu chiefs who were there, not by design, but by British order. The king says he owns the land because someone sold it and that's what caused them to come over to settle on the land they bought that did not belong to somebody that sold it or otherwise. We're just saying here with Kingi that the legacy inside this flag suggests and proclaims that the Hapu land still belongs to the Hapu. And we are proclaiming that this flag acknowledges their sovereignty at the time the British arrived here. So this flag was put together at Tingaidi in Matari Bay, around the corner, a bit to the north, and sent to the king. The king acknowledged it. They picked out the design 
and the flag was then commissioned and took its place as our legal authority to trade throughout the world, free passage, unhindered. No one can change it. No one can change that title, Kingi. Only us. And no one's been to Westminster to change the laws either. We're using the 1830 to 1837 Acts of King William, the fourth Westminster Parliament, today, as of today, and on the 15th of April 2016. From that period of 10th of April 1834 to right till now, the 15th of April 2016, we declared, after Kororadeka celebrations we had and put the flag up, on that hill, Mikey Hill, on above Kororareka, Russell Township, on that first Navy settlement village. We went up the hill, we've got it on video, and hoisted the flag up. Now we're transferring that into the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, with the flag raised up on his ship of Admiralty on the treaty grounds to celebrate 182 years of that first landing. From there it went to the confederation of other chiefs of other tribes, Tainui and Arawa, Te Arawa, Ngāti Prau and um, Ngāti Kahunungu and Tuhoi, Matatua, all the other wakas then came to Titi Marae on the Waitangi treaty grounds and in Taurangatira on the Titi Marae tribal lands of Natikawa and joined up forces behind the eight tribes of Napoli and the 1834 Whakaminga flag, which is what it is. So now it became a combined second contract. Kururareka is the first contract proclamation and meeting with the Hapu chiefs from the Tengairi. So that is more or less a private contract formed the relationship there, unbeknown to the chiefs. That's what it means. I'm getting Kingy, you watching this video, to interpret and Maori into Maori what I'm saying for the chiefs and for your legacy as the chief of the Ngāti Rahiri, Ngāti Kawa combined and Ngāti Rehira combined efforts to get this flag. They formed that first contract. The second contract is the 1835 Declaration of Independence. That's the one that I've been with, with Mohi Manukau in 1985, before the 1986 Constitution of New Zealand was formed. Um, <coughs> Sue Nikora, um, Ngāti Pro, um, from Uya Pohatu, had a hand in putting the 18, 1986 Constitution together with Sir Geoffrey Palmer, Prime Minister then of Labour. Uh, so she has all those titles that I have access to, all the original native titles on the A3 pages, as well as Dawi Hungi got hers and gave it to me, the A3 original British titles. Other Confederation members, such as Mohi Manikau, and Hare Ututonga, I've had a lot to do with. Hare Ututonga gave me his titles to the Ututonga land titles at Waitangi land blocks. So I'm holding those as a native Maui Crown King William the Fourth Trust native customary legal advocate commissioner of lands. 
So now I'm interpreting for Kingi his title to the lands as the last man on his feet, Taumata, chief of Titi Marae and the Waitangi Marae combined. It's his land that I'm saying he takes responsibility of the land with the flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law with it. Under those acts, the 1832-1837 acts still applies today. No one has altered them. We haven't altered them. The British haven't altered them. They've only altered the 1852 Acts of Westminster Parliament and not the 1835 Acts of Westminster Parliament Constitution. This flag is a constitution in itself, 1835 Declaration of Independence, Constitution written into itself as a self-governing country. Okay, so that's our business, private business. Admiralty is private business, no one else. It's only between us and King William, Westminster Parliament, and the British Navy and British military, protectorate under this flag to us. They protect our business between us and Britain. We are starting our business off already from the 15th of April 2016 inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. We enforce these laws there on that date. <coughs> we are reinforcing them and proclaiming them with the rest of the Confederation of Chiefs. On that day, it was just the Whakamininga we were representing, the eight tribes, on that day. Now, on the 28th day of October 2016, from the 28th day of October 1835, a year later, we are proclaiming the Confederation of Chiefs of the Tribes of the Hapu of Aotearoa, New Zealand, combined from that time as a second contract under this flag. And now we've got Queen Victoria inside the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag time period coming in from 1837 when King William the fourth died through to um, Queen Victoria right up to Queen Elizabeth the second now on the 1835 Declaration of Independence Confederation of Chiefs contract two contracts one with John Key and his New South Wales government that's the 1835 Declaration and <coughs> combined with the Iwi Maoris and with the Queen, Elizabeth II, on the 1835. The 1834 is the King direct to Westminster. Make that point quite clear, Kingi. And Kim Wikotu, Matatu, Waka, Chief, I'm talking to you at the moment and to <coughs> Willie Paytuck, Votao Marae, um, speaking from that Marae, that I'm taking the authority of the Whakamininga through its paces. Okay? We have to talk to each other in an orderly fashion so that we are saying the same things in history, legacy, locked up forevermore on the 28th of October 2016. We lock all that up and go into business around the world. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to say there. I'm going to ring Kingy now and to tell him the latest. I've just sent him the email. <coughs> John here. Yeah. I sent you an email. You at the, you at the station yet? No, 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 no. I'm down in uh, uh, Melbourne. 
Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's gone there anyway. Um, what's on down now, sir? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you haven't got an email where you can go straight to your phone, eh, yet? That's not that it matters. It, it can wait. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right. But it's there anyway. Um, it's just um, how I'm uh, thinking for that, for that morning on the 28th. Yeah, you, you, you can you can interpret um, in Maori what 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 it's saying, so that it's it's you saying everything, not me. And 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 the other part of that is the the Queen Victoria uh, Trust. That's another addition to the equity on on what we're doing inside that marae. You got to take claim. You you have to take claim from that land to that part of that flag. On that line, you know, you'll know that. And now the other thing is uh, John Harrison. You know that guy, John Harrison. He's he's in the navy. Yeah. If you get to talk to him, because it would be good if he attended, or somebody from the navy, if John Martin doesn't come, and even if they had their their haka fellows to come, might be all right. You know, so it'll have their representation. Although it should have been, the British should have been there, um, a Navy, but we'll just go along with this one. And they're not to hold a flag when it goes up, it's either you or Jim Wick or two. I think Jim will put the flag up in front of them. Okay. Not not the Pakia, the Pakia can't put it up, okay? Just the, the part I want you to make sure that we've, we're more, more, more or less proclaiming the land belongs to the chiefs and not to the king of England, okay? So you can... I'll, I'll make the little agenda for you. It's only two hours that we got there from five till seven. And then from that, we're transferring that King's Bench Court into any district court, okay? And we can we can go and sit in any room and hire the room and run the court hearings inside there as if it's in that marae. We don't have to be in that marae anymore. It carries on with its business. We'll just do our business, okay? On the other hand, uh, it looks like you and I be going to Westminster after the flag goes up. To, and you've got to make sure that there's a declaration that the flag does not come down. No one, no one can tamper it with it or, or, or pull it down. Okay? okay? All right. I'll leave that bit with you and that's all I want to talk about. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we can run over. Um, um, th that particular two hours in the morning is going to be crucial. Okay, and then you and I, you and I are in business, mate. Yeah. On on a global scale, not up the road. Okay. Yeah. And you get your land back. That that uh, that will um, <clears throat> get the Cook Street tied up with your with those land blocks at Waitangi. They can carry on with their business. John Key can carry on with his government, but we have the overruling. You have the overruling say in what happens. Yeah. Okay, and the other flag goes. To, the war flag, the, the the Union Jack flag, drops down onto the cross run. Okay? Yeah. So that's the things you proclaim inside that whare. And the other chiefs can't do anything about what you say. All right? Okay. Uh, the whakaminina, just the whakaminina, is, is the 1834 one in Kororareka was the first contract. The 1835 Confederation is another contract. They come second, thingy. They come second. All those other mischiefs, chiefs. They come second. The Confederation comes second. Okay? You got that? That's all. Okay. okay. See ya. Alright. All right. <coughs> there. That's King. He got the message. And to all the hapus, and to all the incorporations, to all the Confederation people, that's how it is. That's a fair measure of how the British think. And uh, we have Matt Taylor over there in Westminster, or in, he's got his political party, SOS party, and the Maui King William party combined. So we're there. We're inside Westminster with him, integral with his party, his political party in Brighton, straight here, under the Maui Crown King William the Fourth Trust, forming that relationship straight to Britain. So that John Key carries on with his government as levy debtor 
with all their decks, carrying on their business, but the flag is on the cross run of the Union Jack and the King William flag takes its place where it should have been in the first place. We had to actually put it there uh, in light of what is happening amongst the Hapu chiefs at Matatua is a big factor in all of this legacy, historic um, celebration on the 28th of October 2016. Now, I'll say it this way. <clears throat> I just told Kingi the difference between the Whakameninga 1834 flag, the same flag, and the 1835 Declaration of Independence Confederation of Chiefs. Okay? The first instance is that when the Navy arrived from Britain with their settlers at Kororareka, they landed with this contract, private contract, <coughs> from the King of England, at that time King William IV. In the meantime, the eight tribes of Napui Hapu, not Maori, Napui Hapu, were meeting at Tengaidi and designed this flag. That formed the basis of being accepted by the king's surrogate kings. That means their captains of their ships are the surrogate kings that talked to the then chiefs and formed a relationship which in fact was a contract with the flag to trade. That's what it is. It's a trading Bank of England flag <coughs> of investment in property, land, people, everything that was going on in Britain, UK. So we <coughs> had to accept the fact that they were here already and that was no law that was applying to the native but the British law. So the native had to put together their own government and their own flag. There were several flags. Tainui had their flag, and Ngātipuroi had their flag, and other tribes had their flags. But this particular flag was a British contract of admiralty. Ships on the high seas. Okay, so those Ngāpui chiefs were very clever to do this act with the king, write to the king, and get permission to protect them and their trade, their ships, and their trade. So, I'm just updating Kingi on how that works in a commercial manner. So everyone else using this flag is using it for different reasons other than trade and banking and investment and selling bits of land and trading to England especially, not anywhere else. <coughs> Between us and the King is a private contract. That's the part I'm looking after. Commercial side of this flag. The other hapus have got <coughs> the flag for their own way of doing things. They are welcome to that. Now, We'll put the 1834 aside, the 10th of April 1834, the arrival of the British settlers in this contract. We'll put that contract over there, the King's contract. We'll look at the 1835 Declaration of Independence of this flag of now the combined chiefs of the whole country. That's just eight tribes of Ngāpui. Now we have 
the, all the rest of the tribes, Tainui, Tiarawa, um, Ngāti Parau, Ngāti Tahungu, um, Ngāpui, Tuhoi, all the other tribes are now under the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. It's the contract number two. Contract number one, Whakamininga, eight tribes. I know this from Mohi Manakau, okay, and his title. And this one, the beginning of Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth reign, King William reign, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth reign. Contract. Contract with John Key and Australia, New South Wales government. Australia, New Zealand, John Key, government, Wellington. New Zealand Parliament, Parliament sovereignty. Assume sovereignty to Britain, the Queen. This one, the King, sovereignty, self government with the flag. Same flag, different applications, different legal structures, different laws. This law, British law, this law, New Zealand law, tied up together with the Hapus, the Iwis, and the Crown corporations. This one, King's Corporate, Crown, King, Strait of Britain, contract number one. Mortgage, Levy, Leon, Creditor. This one, Mortgage, Levy, Debtor, Queen. Australia, Authority, New South Wales, Government in exile to Wellington, New Zealand. Presently, the 1835 Declaration applies here. <coughs> Under that structure of laws mixed up with the Tūrē Whenua Act, 93, and 1852, Acts of British Parliament, and the 1986 New Zealand Constitution is here under this structure of the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. The Constitution here with the King of England is the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, sovereign authority, jurisdiction of Admiralty, and a Constitution inside itself, 1835, 1834, and 1852. Eighteen fifty two. This one here is the one we're talking about, I'm talking about right now. That King has to discern a certain from one to the other inside this flag is like it's in two pieces <coughs> of a contract. That contract, this contract. Contract with Queen contract with the government of Wellington and their alteration of our 1835 Declaration of Independence flag here. They used it without this one's consent, without the Whakamininga's consent of the chiefs. They used their Iwi Māori organisations, Federation of Māori Authorities, inside this structure of John Key's government in Wellington with this flag on the flagpole <coughs> at Waitangi only on the days they want to use it. This one is going to be flying all the time. We use it all the time for what it's supposed to be for trade and development of our lands and trade with other countries and banknotes, pound notes there. Here John Key is usurping its power with the Iwi Māori leaders inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. They're using the Queen's Bench Court for all the documentations. We're using the King's Bench Court for all our documentation, uh, documentation 
and the Moai crown. Here we have Queen Elizabeth's crown. There ain't no other crown they can use. I stopped them using Queen Victoria crown in Australia. And they stopped using it. They said we said our oath to the community public here uh, here in Australia they said we swear our oath of office to the country to the people here in the king's side we swear our oath of office to King William IV King Ernest Augustus the first the fifth and his son Ernest Augustus Prince Regent we swear our oath of office to the King George the Third, his sons, King Ernest Augustus the First, King George the Fourth, and King William the Fourth. We swear our oath of office on this side, inside their whare, to the chiefs of the Whakamininga, Ungahapu or Aotearoa, New Zealand, and we swear our oath to Maui Memorial. Tahitian, Rapa Nui, East Island, and Pacific Islands. So Maui represents all of the Pacific Island people, and it represents the whole world, standing in London, standing in all the South countries, London, South Island, Dunedin, Maui standing there with his hat on his head, basket of knowledge, high intellect on his head, that's the crown. Okay, just to let you know, King, that's Tahitian. That's our whakapapa to the land. Mana whenua, there, Mana whenua standing in London. Mana whenua standing in South Island and Auckland, New Zealand. Maui is there, but they chopped his hat off his head. <coughs> Cut his neck off. That's how bad the park is to us and our memorials. <coughs> no respect for our taonga and our ancestors, sacred memorials. So we have two memorials on this side, King William IV and Maui statue, to our documents. Kingi authenticates our documents, those two memorials and to the land and the flags to go with it. King William's got his own admiralty flag, anchor, <coughs> and the British flag and his own Hanover flag um, that we're swearing our oath to. All of this, what I'm saying on this side, to the king. We swear our oath of office to the chiefs of the tribes in this country, and we swear our oath of office to the people who we deal with around the world in 250 countries under this flag, sovereign authority. From here, in little old New Zealand. Okay? On this side, <coughs> of the flag time um, under the reign of Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth is gone pear shaped. He's gone into a whole lot of ruin, fraud, corruption, and desecration of our lands and its resources. We're lucky in a way we haven't been totally destroyed as other countries have been bombed up by the same side of this that use queen instead of king. Our flag, nevertheless, is on this side in John Key and his operating government, right in their face. This time around, who we are, what we do with this flag on this side, <coughs> as far as all the Confederation, Confederation of Chiefs now and the, all the marrying corporations and um, Nga Mokupuna uh, group of people, the women uh, who uh, have their own um, uh, take on this faith, how they want to use it because they're Maori and you can't stop them from saying anything, you can't stop anybody from saying anything. From Tainui uh, to Ngāti Pro, they have their 
own applications to this day. And to Sue Nakora in Gisborne, <coughs> she is uh, Uepotu, Uhe Pohatu, Uwe Pohatu in Rotoria, and me in Uetaha in our area um, at the east coast, run, uh, Cape Runaway to <coughs> Tiki Tiki, across the Waipu River, down the Waipu River to Rangitukia and to the East Cape, back to Te Aroro, Pix Bay, Matakao, and Lotham Point. That is Uetaha boundary area that I'm um, part of as developing areas under the flag jurisdiction straight to Britain. Um, Sunukora is one of the last standing um, confederation members that I've known for years that still uh, wants to go to the United Nations with a delegation. So I'm supporting that with Kingi Taurua under his flag as well as it got its time to do that. But Kingi and I are going straight to Westminster on this side. Kingi, we're going to Westminster after we raise the flag and we're going straight into Westminster because we have a political party set up there the Maui King William Party and with the SOS Independent Party of Matt Taylor he's the leader of the Maori the, the Maui King William Party there and I'm looking after the Maui King William Party here a political party here is operating its business Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited registered in the company's house in UK, London, Matt Taylor's the secretary of that. He looks after our administration there and our tax requirements with the government. And Matt has UK military, navy, and political um, <coughs> back up to us here. Um, he's an ex military police. So he's very well up to the political scene there as much as I am way ahead of that. I have a handle on what's happening in Britain, America, and here in the New Zealand Pacific Islands. So we're going in tandem, government, Maui, <coughs> um, Crown, state government here in New Zealand and around the world. My Commonwealth Government of the World, New World Order. On my cap, on my hat, um, the Vatican is usurping that lot. He's usurping our flag of King William IV, jurisdiction of Admiralty, private contracts, and he's usurping St. Patrick's Order, Eight Point Star. Okay, that belongs in the Westminster Parliament. We're going back to get it back. We're going back to get that title back into Westminster and put it back where it should be with us, the King. King Ernest Augustus on this side is the reigning King of Hanover and the King of Britain, UK. Currently still inherits that position. That is our King when we get there to put him into Westminster to fill the void of Queen, Vic Queen Elizabeth who gone into the EU Parliament now, and Kingi, she has gone there. You still have control over your Queen Victoria Trust. 1848 was when Queen Victoria put that trust together for us, under the flag with King William IV. I'm investigating that as the Commissioner of Lands here, Native Commissioner of Lands, under the Moai Crown State Government and Commonwealth Government of the world. So you combine those with the New World Order, that's who we are. Proclaiming to be inside Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Matt Taylor, take note. That's what's happening today. Up to the 28th, we're leading up to that point before we come to see you in England. Okay.
Day and my other secretary, Jackie Little Gordon, in Aberdeenshire, um, up from Balmoral Castle, about an hour from there, or less, um, in Scotland. She's our secretary there, looking after that business, in particular the Moai Tidal Turbine Energy Project that we want to put into Pentland Firth, Pentland Firth, and Orkney Islands, up there, and across on the other side in England, at Dover, in the Dover Straits, and here on the Renfrew Bank, East Cape, North Island, New Zealand, off Port Awanui Land Box, where I am, and the East Cape, Marangaro, Sea Block, and the Haho 7B Block at Rangitukia. So, that gives you an idea of our commercial operations under this flag. Kingi, and Timurkotu, Matatua, and Wuripeita, Otau Marai, and uh, also put a word in for Hoeapa Epiha, Matauri Bay. Te Marai there. Um, I have great respect for him and what he's um, challenging uh, with the Whakameninga to bring them all together. He's doing a tremendous job and I applaud him for that. Um, someone has to do the job and he's stepped up to the mark. So he has his say in what happens. It's not my call. When it comes to Ngāpui, I'm there to guide and protect the legal instruments in my custody as a land commissioner, okay, and sheriff of the county courts. Now what we're going to do here, while I'm thinking about it, is that the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court will extend its power from that day into all the district courts in this country. There's no need to go to the High Court because that's where the King's Bench Court resides. And we're taking cases into the Auckland District Court for the Cook Street, 77 Cook Street land block. Now, you've seen me say too much about that for a long time. The police lost the case against me through lack of evidence, insufficient evidence. There was none. There was none to stack beside this flag and what I'm saying. Online, every document that I put there, affidavit and video, is real. So far, no one has challenged any of what I say. And so it stands to legal reason that there's nothing to say, Kingi, on your marae. It's all set up to go. All we do is fine tune the last proclamation bits and set down our laws already of King William IV, 1832-1837. We are using those laws for our Maui Crown State Government here in this country and around the world in 250 countries. We're using King William's laws legally belongs to us. This flag belongs to us. The memorial mast, British mast, on the treaty grounds in Waitangi belongs to us. That's our property. All the carvings inside that marae belongs to us. That belongs to the hapu. The iwi has no right to claim any of that property. This flag, straight to Britain, is a private contract. It's not their business or no one's business. Here's somebody. Oh, Kingy. Hello, Kingy. Yeah. Oh, that's key. He went off. So I'll just keep talking until he comes back on again.
he sees scratching his head now because there's a lot to talk about, a lot to think about too. <coughs> and um, so, uh, what was I saying? I was saying that, um, oh, here he is again. Oh, you got cut off. Yeah, okay, what do you say? What do I say? Yeah, I know. I know it, it, it's pointing that way. Uh, I, all I can do is just set it in place and it'll, it'll talk for itself. So you, all you have to remember is there's two contracts. The first one, the 1834, that's your one, the Whakaminiga. The other one is everybody else. The 1835 on the 28th is everybody else. And that's why it's all mixed up. That's why they're confused. So you, as long as you know that, the, the, that, as soon as the Navy stepped on that land, it formed the contract straight to Britain, okay? There was only the eight tribes, the eight tribes, Mohi told me about the eight tribes of Napui. Those are the ones that were fighting battles and, and knocking his head in. So, but those are the ones that made the contract, right? That's important, important to, to make that, that's what the government's waiting for you to say that in Maori, because otherwise they know. They, they know what they're tricking up uh, up to inside that party. So, so, so that's, that gives you a lot to speak in Maori about it. In, inside that marae and take ownership of, that's your property. The flag is your property, the mast is your property, the British property, and, and the carvings in that marae is your property. But all you do is to set that up to any district court from the authority and let them carry on with the business until you run that out, right? Yeah, you lead them to run their business because we're, we've got a fraud business which will, which will overhang everything else on Cook Street. The Cook Street will set it off, okay? Yeah. Who, who said it? Oh, Kruja. Yeah. Uh, wh why weren't you at the Matatu or Hui? Yeah. yeah, well, because he wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of the other ones might have been one, one. You know, there was a good representation of them there. Anyway, I've got it on video. I sent the video to you. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. It's on. It's on email. It's on email. Um, um, of what happened there, so you can get a handle of what they're talking about. Who? Uh, Hoepa. He's not my mate. I, we, we parted ways long ago. He got in my road and told, told me what to do. Yeah, no, so that's why I deal with Willie now, not, not Hoepa. Hoepa wouldn't let me talk at, that, uh, at the Matatua. And Willie wanted me to talk, but he, he, he said no. He says the same thing as, the same thing as when we went to their party, he said, don't put the flag up. That's what's the trouble with him. I wanted him out of the road. I told Willie, don't let him come near, anywhere near what we're saying on that marae when we go in on the 28th. He'll, he'll, eh? Yeah, um, uh, uh, Willie. Uh, yeah, uh, whoever's sort of taken the, the whakaminiga, but they don't like him. A lot of them don't like him, they only listen to Willie. And Willie listens to me. And whoever butts in and, and tries to take the cream of what we're saying. The purpose of the hui was for the whakaminiga and for the um, uh, treaty claims and uh, the, the um, te ture whenua land things. Um, but I left halfway through because I went down to Omaya uh, but that was the, the hui was for <coughs> um, more or less in prepara preparation for the, the 28th as well. But, <coughs> but um, they're trying to bring everybody together uh, to come up with the same same um, ideas of what they want to do 
at Waitangi, but no mention of the Waitangi Marae itself. That's your business and mine. Yeah, yeah it's not. What's that? Yeah, no, that's your. No, it's yours because it's on your land, and it's come from from uh, from uh, uh, Russell. We, we're only looking at the 1834, the 18th of April 1834 on Kororareka. That's the main contract. The other second contract, is the second mortgage, is the 1835 declaration these guys are under. That's why they were mixed up. Yeah, so when we go when we go into that whare, it's more or less you stamping your, your claim and proclaiming the land back to that first contract, okay? That's just a um, Nati Rai land, isn't it? Where Russell is? Is that Rehi or Rai? Rai? Rehi. Oh, Rehi, yeah. Oh, so that's where the Rehi land is. And where's the Rahiri land? Where's the Rahiri land? Waitangi. And where's the Kawa land? Not Kawa land. Oh, okay, okay. Now I've got the picture. Yeah, so I'll just make sure I make a. Uh, a proclamation the same way as the captain of the ship got here and did the same thing. We do the same thing here and over there in, in England. It's all set up on the other end. It's just this end. Yeah, I just want to people going down there. Oh, yeah, well that's probably what Hohepa did. Hohepa arranged all of that. So then he, he's done that without you knowing, which is bad. Yeah. That's bad. And, and with him shutting me up and talking was better again. Yeah, he shut me up from talking because he didn't realize I, w I was there. I got invited there by, by Willie. And when Hoepa saw me, he wouldn't shake my hand. He didn't shake my hand. He just looked at me. Yeah? I said, who the hell are you? Yeah, so that 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 two hours inside that marae is, is the most important thing in this world, Kenny. Yeah, Yeah, no, well, that's basically what it was. They were talking about the, the flag issues, the fucker meaning and, and, and what they think, what their interpretation of it is. Okay? I'll tell, I'll tell uh, Willie, I'll uh, straighten them out anyway. Yeah. No, 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 I don't tell them where you are. No, 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 I, I, I don't need to know. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I've got too many things important to do, Kingy. We've got to get this one right. No, just only me, you, and it, and it, and nobody else. There's nobody else. There's no need for anybody else. Okay? See ya. Bye. Here we are. Caught him again. So that's the chief. He's very upset that he wasn't told what's happening down at Matatua. But anyway, we'll get over all of that because at the end of the day, I want him to talk to them and I want them to talk to him. He's still the chief. He's not dead yet. And he's going to hang in there uh, till kingdom come. And he just got a bit of a boost. He ring me back. He, he's thinking hard. He's thinking hard. But whatever he says, he's there to smooth the waters between the crown Corporation on John Key side and the Hapu on the King William side. So I don't take sides. I just listen to what he says, listen to what everybody else says, and then draw my conclusions from there and state the facts. State the facts of what it should be. The only way to fix their problems in all of Maryland is to do it this way. There's no other way. It was set up to take land if you can't use it to make money out of it. Okay, everything revolves around money. Without it, you can't buy things. You can't get a car. You can't get a house. You can't do nothing without it. Okay, so that's basically what we are. We are creating our pound note, own currency, water money currency as well. So we've got a pound note of King William, his coins, gold coins, and we've got data instruments to go with it. Those have already been enforced in that marae. And now we're going back to bring the rest of the confederation together. You can see what I'm trying to explain to him.
and to you people watching, that Kingy still has to do his job. He's got a day job. He's not as though he's like me that can go to the gym and get some exercise because I do have a problem. The Tinnitus Terminator bugger my ears up some more. It's actually made them worse. So that has a detriment on my health. And I'm getting through it uh, alright. But in the meantime I need to keep active, uh, fit. My nurse just left me, did the checks and gave me a clearance. She, it was a 95% good, pulse 48, weight 89.7, heart 140 over 90. And she says, gee that's good, but she didn't know my medication, I didn't take it, you see. That was without it. And so the gym has done a lot for me. And I go up again and the diet as well. Cut back on diet. Food. Uh, on foods. Okay, so that's that. I just want to get back on the subject again of what's happening in, in the elections in America. I watch that all the time. Of Trump and Hillary Clinton is no different from John Key and the government operating here with the Panama Papers, Panama Papers and the fraud and corruption of Cook Street and their documentation doesn't fit the bill. It does not reign supreme in its authority. Those documents that Natalie Flower do Brown and CIB detective fashioned in their own writing, handwriting, was not worth the papers written on. So you can very well say that the Treaty of Waitangi is not worth the papers written on. The land titles is not worth the papers written on. The contracts the government here is not worth the papers written on. The Foreshore Seabed Act is not worth the papers written on. You see, all those things that the meetings with the tribunal, Waitangi Tribunal, is not worth the papers written on because it was made to fail. Maoris. Why Maori? It's because Maori word and Iwi word is patent owned by the Crown Corporation and the Rothschild Banks. So every document, Kingi and your chiefs, every document that has the word Maori on it, or Iwi, belongs to the Crown. Te Ture Whenua Maori Land Act 1993 belongs to the Crown and it's Maori people. So if you call yourself a Maori, you're stuck with it. You ain't going to get out of it. If you call yourself a Maori, you have nothing to do with it. You can stay as yourself. Anyone in the world who wants to join Maori under this flag, you've got a clean cut, debt free start in life. Creditor, creditor, levy creditor in any court of justice. Right? My word against yours. That's all it amounts to. If you haven't got anything to put in front of me, you lose. That's what happened on Cook Street. So that land title was right in the first place to seize it. But they just wouldn't believe my document until now. They were. Perfect. Only thing is, the judge dismissed the case because he didn't want to face any more truth, factual information. <coughs> so that's where we're up to with, um, I'm glad that Kingy rang and um, I just know that he's got a, a a job to do, a big job really, on that marais to please everyone. To please everyone means to please the public, to please Pakia, to please Maori, to please the government, to please the Governor General, to please everyone that comes into this country. He can't take sides, same as I can't take sides. 
Okay, so um, just a message to those uh, people at the meeting at Matatu Marae. Um, Kruger, he's a leader there of the Iwi in, in uh, Tuhoi, um, was speaking to Kingi. And that bothers me because he should have been there. Kruger should have been at that meeting. He wouldn't go because Kingy didn't go. Kingy's got a job. He's, he's a very busy man. And same as the king. The Sovereign King or otherwise is a busy man. Busy man. Plenty to do. Might look like he's doing physical work, but there's plenty to do. Plenty to think and to design and to talk about. <coughs> there's not much pay in this job yet. And that's what Jamie's waiting for. There's not much pay in the job for her either until we get things going. Everything's in place. The ship is ready to sail. The high seats where all the pirates are. The pirates are here on the land. And we're going into the sea. The pirates are here on the land. Strutting their stuff. Okay, but we're going to um, do investigations of land after Cook Street. And so we'll get to that matter when we get there. In the meantime, I think this video is long enough, and I just wanted to to let uh, Willie, Peter, and Jim Wekutu know uh, publicly that I'm making statements of how things should run on the 28th of October. For the first time, we're able to do this. I'm waiting on the Navy now to respond to write to me or talk to me and I'm going to give uh, John Harrison a ring again the Kingy will talk to him but I will, I will try him again and see if I can raise him while I'm on the line Here he goes. John Harrison. <clears throat> yeah, is that John? John Harrison? Yeah, John Wanoa here speaking, John. John Wanoa. John, yeah, from from Auckland, yeah. Um, look, uh, Willie Pater gave me, uh, told me to give you a call because you're in the Navy, are you? Uh, yes, uh, so I'm organising the 28th of October, the Decoration Day, with uh, uh, the, the Chiefs there and um, the Whakamininga, and I was hoping that you may be able to attend. I just got off the phone to Kingi Toru. And, um, uh, so, yeah, so I've arranged, we've already gone on to the Waitangi Marae on the 15th of uh, April this year. So we're going into the Waitangi Marae again to have the 182-year celebration of the flag to Britain. And um, that'll be at 5 in the morning. And I'm um, uh, hoping that uh, you could have bought uh, uh, the cultural group from the Navy with yourself and all others if John Martin can't make it. Um, uh, to, yeah, I've written to John Martin and I've written to... Uh, to um, pardon? No. Dave Riddle. Dave Riddle. Jack Riddle. Riddle. Who... who Oh, yeah, for a nucky. And, and he, he in the Navy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good, good. That'll be good. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yep. That'll be good. That'll be good. Yep. 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 John. Doc. Harrison, two, Ed, in, NZ, DF, yep, felt M I L, um, dot NZ, so that's John dot Harrison two at NZ DF. Dot M I L dot N Z. So Harrison is H A R I or two two R's two R's two I S O N. I gotta get that right because one out and it's no good. Um, you get nothing. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. No, I've been involved with Napoli for a long, long time with all the history. I got all the history and everything. So. Yeah, so uh, so I'm an idea as a as a sort of advisor on what how how best to do things, and we're going to make the flag work for the hapu to to start uh, trading things like that. I'm in the economy side of things, so those are a wealth of information that um, goes along with the whole thing. I've got all the history and the original titles, the Utitonga titles to all those land blocks. I do all the land titles. So those those get handed back at some stage soon, and and part of the museum should have all this in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, Mac. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that, that really is going to take up two hours from five in the morning till seven on, on the Waitangi Marae itself with the flagpole. Okay, that, that's what they... With the, the morning. Now, it's always, we always have things at Titi Marae on the, on the 28th at five in the morning, but this time it's going to be on, on the Waitangi Marae. You see, we're taking the, the mana into there from the other side to, to express it and make it known of, of from here on, right? We're going to bury the past and, and get on with it. Yeah, so this is what this is, it's clearing up and moving in together. Okay? Okay. Yeah, beauty. Yeah, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, John. Yeah, you too. Bye. There we go. We got him. I'm glad. Hooray. Fitz Hooray. Flag here. Flag here. Okay. Head missing. Anyway, I'll get the head. Completely. Okay. Head, flag, flag. Bob's uncle. Okay, so that uh, brings me to a conclusion. I've rung everyone up. He was the last one to ring. And so he'll take care of the Navy and the cultural group. I hope that um, he will bring them. Tikani Wiata, cultural advisor. I'll uh, let him sort that out so I don't talk to too many people. Kabahaka Group. Um, Jack Rudolph. Pirinaki. Paolinga. Paolinga. That's 
where he comes from. Heard enough of Jack Rudolph. So anyway, that's enough. One man is enough. Um, I hope he, he can forward that on to John Martin and the Navy group. If he can't make it, then somebody else in the Navy. So that really wraps it up, Kingy. You watch this video. Um, I've done my little dues for the day. And I'm happy. I can go to the gym now and get some time in, lift some weights, and feel good. So, people, thank you very much, uh, very much for watching, and we'll catch you again very soon. Bye for now. Time, 11.23, today, October the 11th, 2016, for the record in this world today. That's me from Otahuhu, South Africa.